let's understand how we can run a record trigger flow as another user. So right now here in this org, I am logged in as Sanjay Gupta. So let's check the profile of this user. So here you can see a profile of this user is system admin and I'm logged in as Sanjay. Now, if you want to run your flow with another user or you want to debug your flow with another user. So what you can do, let me open a flow. So I'm going to debug this flow. So while you debug any flow, so uh, first of all, it shows like uh, the paths. So if you have run immediately or run asynchronously paths defined, so those will be available. So in this flow only run immediately paths is available. So I'm choosing that. And here I have this option run flow as another user. So right now it is disabled, but if you want to enable this, so you can read this help text. This option is disabled in your orgs process automation setting. So I just need to search for process automation setting. So here we need to find that option. So here is the option. Let admins debug flow as other user. So if I enable this option and click on save. Now, if I come here and refresh the page. So now as a system admin, I will be able to debug this flow as another user. So now you can see this option is enabled and I can check this checkbox. And from here, I can choose the user. So right now in my org, two users are active. Those are having Salesforce license. So Sanjay Gupta is the system admin and Arush Agarwal is the standard user, standard profile user. So if I show you, so here you can see this is the another user uh, whose profile is standard user and it is active. So here I can choose this user. Now, if I choose particular record, so this flow is basically uh, created for uh, user object. So that's why it is showing users. So if I select particular user, uh, then I can click on run. So this flow will debug as per this user's profile, permission sets, roles and all, right? So this way, if you don't want to log in with that user, and you want to remain as a system admin and still you want to debug your flow as another user. So that you can do with the help of this feature. So remember, first you need to enable the setting through process automation settings, and then only you will be able to debug your flow as another user. So if I open any other flow like account share, and if I click on debug, so here you can see, I can select the user and this time it is asking for accounts. So this flow is basically created on account objects. So that's why it is asking for account records. Earlier flow that I opened was created on user. So that's why it was asking user records, right? So it depends on which object you have created the flow. So uh, basis on that, uh, your flow will ask for the triggering record. So if your flow is created for user, so you need to enter user record. If it is created for account, so you need to enter account record. But here you need to always select the user record, right? Because you want to run your flow as another user being a system admin. So this is all about how you can run or how you can debug your flow as a another user being as system admin.